Hi, I am her huntress. I'm sorry I haven't uh, produced a video in about a week or so, but I've been super sick. I have had what everybody else has seemed to have. Our weather has been crazy, so that probably didn't help me not catching any of the ick that's going around. But I'm going to continue on with our series about birthstones. And of course, we're talking about March, which is a super awesome month that gets two birthstones. And it happens to be the month that I was born. So yeah, let's get into some of these. Okay, our first one we're going to talk about, and it's the gem stone first stone for March and it's an aquamarine now this aquamarine is raw it is not gemstone quality usually an aquamarine is a very light pale blue color and the ones you might see in jewelry are clear but this is a raw one that's not polished and you're seeing that correctly it's not a deep color blue at all it's just it's barely blue this is what aquamarine looks like raw and just so you know what they usually look like, uh, here is an aquamarine bracelet. This is the true color. It's a light pale blue. And really I've got some chips that we're going to use in this grid, but the only, only other aquamarine I have is in this ring. You can see it's just a very pale light blue, almost undetectable. That would be the gem quality birthstone for March. And what aquamarine stands for is really it's the talisman of mermaids. Uh, the light blue color is reminiscent of the color of the sea. And aquamarine is known to be the stone to help you live in the moment. And what I think they mean by that is it helps you communicate and say your feelings and thoughts without any hesitation. So it helps you communicate exactly what you're feeling and thinking without being reserved about it. Um, aquamarine is also known to give you peace and courage a little like uh, the old tiger eye so and that that peace and courage the curse courage at least goes along with helping you to speak your thoughts and feelings without hesitation it's giving you the courage the courage to tell others what you're thinking and feeling so yeah that's the aquamarine okay the next guy up is a bloodstone so a lot of people did not know that the bloodstone is March's other birthstone and bloodstone is a dark green color and this is of course raw it's dark green and it has red throughout it this is a very large raw chunk and let me see if this one this one might be a little better you can see a little more of the red coming through on this raw piece and the outsides more green just a little piece of a raw one and uh, a polish I got this little orb See, you can see that a little better. It's got red all throughout it. And this is a little lighter green, but they also come, this is a little worry palm stone. It comes much darker green. This one doesn't have any red in it at all. But uh, Bloodstone is an all over strong healer. It heals just about anything physical that's wrong with your body. Uh, bloodstone is known to regulate blood disorders. I work with it quite a bit with my anemia and it helps with that a lot. So if you have any kind of blood disorder, if you're going through something or your immune system's off, bloodstone is something really good to keep in your pocket while you're going through that. Uh, bloodstone is just known to give you physical strength also. Uh, a fun little tip, or not really tip, but a fun little fact about bloodstone, if you are of the Christian faith, this is a particular a particularly strong stone for them because the blood on the green is supposed to represent the blood spilled by Christ when he was on the cross. So you might see even some crosses made out of bloodstone because this is a a big important stone of the Christian faith. So now that I've talked about them and showed you what the, they look like polished and raw, let's make a quick grid out of these. Okay, folks, we're going to start with our pyramid. It's our bloodstone pyramid. Let's get a close-up so you can see that. I'm going to start with putting that right in the middle. I've got these two nice bloodstone orbs. Let's put them at the top and the bottom. I'm going to use these little plastic rings to hold them in place so they're not running all over the place. 
This is the one I showed you guys earlier. Nice dark green. Another nice dark green one. Here's one that's got a little more red in it. And here's one that's almost completely red. Okay, there's the placement of our bloodstones. Now I've got these little aquamarine chips. And I know they're not very big, but um, they will work for a grid, won't they? So I got a quite, a f I have a quite a few of them. Let's put some here. Got some more, so let's put them around the edge. Oh, these nails. These hooker nails are not good for placing small little stones on grids. Just a heads up, in case anybody was wondering. Difficulty level 10. I know you cared. And Kansas City is having their gem and mineral show this weekend, which I will be there, and I will try to do a live video just so people can see. So I know not everybody has the pleasure of going to shows. But okay, here is our March birthstone grid. We have our bloodstones, and we have our aquamarines. Okay, there it is zoomed in a little more. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.